Hey y'all, it's Danielle for Rosetta Vera and I'm back today with a marker swatching video. If you saw my November haul, you know I picked up these markers from HomeSense. Um, so these are the Sheffield Crafts Dual Tip Brush Markers. It is a set of 36 markers with reusable carry case. Um, these are acid-free, non-toxic, and water-based. Um, I paid $12.99 for these. I've never heard of Sheffield Home. I just happened to be in Home Sense because I had never been in a Home Sense before, and I was trying to figure out how is it different from Home Goods because aren't they part of the same TJ Maxx family? I was very confused why there's two home stores. But then again, there's TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and they're basically the same thing. Anyway, I digress. Um, so I picked these up because um, the caps look very fall centric, um, and I was really curious about them. So. We're gonna swatch them out, take a look at them today, um, and see if they're worth you guys looking for in your home sense. So let's get it open. I will say before I get, I do like this little carry case. This is cute. I like that. Um, let's see. I am curious, once you take the stickers off, does it stay closed really well? Come on, come on. Here we go. So, let's open these up. The top comes right off, which I kind of like because then you can kind of sit them to the side while you're working. So, let's pull one out. So, it says Sheffield Crafts. There are no color names or numbers. Mm, don't like that. So you have your brush tip on one side, and then you have your what's that a like a it's like a bullet tip I guess you could say. Um, they look like they might be juicy, but we'll see when we put the pen to paper what they actually look like. So let me get my pad out. So since there are no names. I guess I'll just write Sheffield. That might be the best way to try these out. Am I going to remember how to write Sheffield though? You know, I'm smart, but sometimes I do forget how to spell. Um, so let's see. I know it's on the pen. It's on the pen. That did not help me though. All right, this tip is a little soft on that brush tip. And they are juicy, like I said. The bullet tip has a little more control than the brush tip. Let's see. So the color side is the brush tip. That is a little bit better in terms of how stiff the brush tip is. I really wish they had names on these. That would be so helpful. So far, I really like the colors. So, performance so far for those first three seem to be similar. Um, so, I may just go ahead and finish watching these. And then come back and give you my final thoughts on them.
so that's done. So first things first, I apologize for not sorting these markers in color order. I think that would have been very helpful to kind of see the shades next to each other. That being said, there are no repeats in colors here. Nothing that I could say off the top of my head was like the same color. I think even the ones that are close, if I had to swatch them in color order, you would have been able to see the differences. So there was nothing that popped out to me as being a repeat. Um, and I'll probably sort these in color order before I put them back in a box and I'll just film that so you can see how many colors, I mean, how many markers are in each color range. So I'll probably Roy G. Bib those out. Um, I want to start with the good things. Um, I do think there are some interesting colors in here. Um, there's definitely some very strong jewel tones, um, that you don't normally see in marker packs. Um, definitely the blues are very different. The purples are a little different. Um, so I do think there's some interesting tones in there. The markers for the most part were juicy. There's only three where I felt like weren't as juicy and that would be this light blue and then the two grays. The lightest gray almost felt like it was dried out. Um, so those were the only three out of the 36 that to me weren't as juicy as the rest of the markers. Um, so that's being said, let's get into um, some of the cons of them. So the bullet tips are consistent. Um, these would be great coloring markers. That's what I would recommend them for. The bullet tips are great. Um, and these would really be nice in one of those um, coloring books where you have thicker paper. They would be really nice in projects to lay down color. Um, you know, nice, firm, flexible tips. So I have no complaints about the bullet tip. The brush tip, that's different. Um, definitely not consistent throughout 30, all 36 markers. Some of them were firm. Some of them were super soft. Um, you can see that, like, in the difference between this Sheffield and this Sheffield. Um, if you wanted to use these for brush lettering, my recommendation would probably be to swatch these and mark the ones that feel more comfortable for you to use for brush lettering and kind of pull those out and say those the rest of them you're not going to use. Um, you have to swatch these first. It may be possible that you get a different pack and have a different experience with the brush tips, but mines were not consistent. Um, and for me to use them for brush lettering, it would take a little more effort um, because like I said, there's no consistency. Some of them are soft, some of them are hard, some of them are real mushy. Um, so I would say if you're gonna buy these for that purpose, definitely swatch them out to figure out which ones are gonna be better for you to use than others. Um, I think that's pretty much my review on them is that I think that, I think the colors and the ink are great. I think the bullet tips are great. Um, I just don't know if I would use these as a brush marker. And that's just being honest. I think I would use them Excuse me, I would use the bullet tips in different applications, art, um, you know, coloring. Um, I think they would be good for that. I just don't know if the brush markers are worth my time and, and you know, I get easily aggravated. So, you know, if I'm going to use this for brush lettering, I got to be really intentional and I don't think I want to be bothered with that, um, especially when I know there are better brush markers out there. But for $13... These aren't a bad set of, you know, bullet tip markers. Um, I think, like I said, I think the colors are great. Um, and if you come across them, you should pick them up. I like the carry case too. So the last thing I'm going to do before I close out this video, um, I'm just going to put these in color order to kind of, so you can kind of see what the families are here. So let me do that real quick.
add is that the caps pretty much mirror, uh, mirror um, what you get on the page. So even though there's no color names or numbers, you can pretty much um, pick up a marker and know that that's going to be the color that you're putting on the page. They, they're pretty close. Um, and, you know, like... I'm looking at how I did this and I see Sheffield Crafts is not up on all of the pins and some of them are in there upside down. It's okay. Nobody will die. Um, but that is all 36 markers of the Sheffield Crafts dual tip brush marker set. Um, as always, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.